Well, that one bit the. Oh, there's double. There's two of them. <laughs> Finally, y'all, I caught the double. Hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. Or welcome back to my channel if you already subscribed and as a regular viewer. Uh, I'm out on the creek and I'm on foot. Uh, I ain't got my kayak today. It was a little windy, so I couldn't take out my kayak, y'all. But I've already gotten on some fish. It's a good day of fishing so far. Uh, so y'all come along with me. Let's do some fishing. Pretty day to go out on a walk. We gotta mind your footing because there's snakes out for sure. And lots of poison ivy, I'm still, I'm thinking. It's also dangerous walking around these woods like this uh, on the trails and stuff. Especially uh, if it's windy, good chance a tree or an old tree might you know, land on your head. But uh, it's pretty nice, pretty, pretty beautiful day besides the wind. Here we go, y'all. Pretty. Got one. So, uh, I forgot my darn stringer. This is a keeper white bass right here, I'm sure. But, uh, I think I'm gonna be uh, fishing for fun today, y'all. Maybe keep a couple. Found them. This is my usual spot. I, it's almost a guarantee down here, but uh, if you guys are on a creek off the Trinity or even the Brazos, I think they're in the Brazos. They're definitely, I mean, they're definitely in the creek, y'all. I'm using a double jig rig, uh, one I rigged up for crappie. It's uh, two Bobby Garlands. And, uh, yep, that's what I'm using. Old reliable, old reliable for uh, white bass as well. Here we go. Ah, oh, a smaller one. These are usually the ones first up the creek. Then the larger ones will find their way up. Boy, that's really in there. Hold on, y'all. There you go. I might keep a couple for the for some supper, but not quite sure yet. There we go. Every cast, y'all, every cast. This one's a little better. Yeah, it's still pretty small, but. I'm using my seven foot rod, so it's a heavier rod. And there you go. The little ones. Alright y'all, it's, it's really windy today, so I, I was contemplating to be on a kayak. If you're in the middle of the creek, you're sitting in the creek, it's really not that bad because the wind is just passing right over your head. I got, well, I guess it depends what creek you're on, but these are really small. It's still probably really early. Probably need a couple more weeks, I'd say. But uh, they're definitely in here, and it's, if you're if you're fishing for fun, this is probably the funnest you'll ever have. Not only that they fight real good, they eat real good. It's just every cast. It's just like fishing in a barrel sometimes. Sometimes, I'd say sometimes. Not everybody has it that good, I guess. But, but it's uh, really fun, y'all. I'm just out here having fun. Getting some exercise. There we go. That's some real small ones in here. There you go. This ain't too bad. 
they're, these are small. These are small size. And they seem to like that chartreuse a lot better than that. That lead, but. See the old reliable Bobby Garland chartreuse? Uh, Mo Glow, I forgot what the heck you call it. The Green Lantern, I think it's called. Real reliable bait, I'd say. Works for copy. What in the world did I do here? Let us let it sink down a little bit. There we go. I love this. This is so fun, y'all. Using a seven foot rod. You don't need a seven foot rod. You don't need, you don't need much to catch white bass, that's for sure. This is just fun right here. These aren't even keeper size fish, really. Most of these aren't. But they're just fun, y'all. Look at this one's been caught before. You don't need a whole expensive setup to get on these fish. Got some pretty good right here, y'all. Bigger size one. This is a keeper right here. <laughs> I mean, this is fun. This is fun, fun. And if you bring ultralight, those little ones will give you a run for your money. The only thing around these Bobby Garlands is they are very flimsy with white bass, y'all. Yeah, y'all, you really don't need a kayak or anything special to go up for white bass. You just got to make sure the white bass are in there. <laughs> and the only way you tell them, I guess you go out and fish. Do the leg work. Uh, just like I am today. I'm pretty, I'm, I mean, I fished this creek long enough to know that they are definitely in here. Uh, at this time of year, especially with all the weather, the rain that we got, we got, they're in here. So it was just a matter of just getting out here. There we go. Boy, even the little ones are super fun. And they really like that chartreuse shell. Come on, I'm trying to let you go, bud. There you go. This is just for my enjoyment, really. I'm not putting meat in the freezer right now. Just casting around the deep, deep spots. Just really just doing it slow, y'all. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one. You can always tell when they're... Hell yeah. Look at that. That's a good one right there. Woo! Wee! This is so fun, y'all. That's a good size one, too. Not too bad. That's a keeper right there. That's a good eating size. Boy, these guys really like to get hooked. <laughs> there we go. Wait a second, do I got a double? Oh, no. This one's running. Look at that, y'all. I love them. Especially when it's cold. They just know how to fight. This one's a keeper right here. Pretty decent size one. Might not be doing a catch and cook on this one, y'all. I mean, not having a stringer. Not only that, I don't want to haul... What? I don't want to haul fish down this creek right here. I mean, let's see if I can catch my limit, though. I want to cut. I'm... Besides the little ones. Caught maybe, what, five... Look at this Bobby Garland, y'all. It's falling apart already. And they don't want any of that dark colored one, apparently. They like that chartreuse. It's just, they lock onto it easier. And the water, I mean, clarity. Usually this is like a clear water creek. But uh, it's 
It's pretty cloudy. This creek is usually more clear, especially uh, when it hadn't been raining. Ooh, ooh, not good. Got a little wind knot right there. I might have to replace this Bobby Garland right here at the end. Let's see if uh, they'll tack that that darker, darker one. I'm sure they will. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they love that Bobby Garland. I'm telling you, that's a good size one as well. They just fight real good. Real fun, real fun to fish, y'all. Whoo, that's a good one right there. Now, since I got that double jig rig and they get an option what they want, I'm gonna throw on something different at the, the trailer end. I bought these last season. They're still good. Still scented, kind of. Uh, but uh, I don't know what colorway this is. But uh, it's from Big uh, Big Bite Baits. I don't know. I don't know what the name is. It's just a tube. But I'm gonna rig. I'm gonna rig the tube straight through. Look at this hook, y'all. <laughs> Cheap hooks. Now, I like a little bend in mine, but for white bass, you really don't need to, especially if you're just reeling in. There we go. This should get them. Seems to me they don't like, they're not readily biting the big bite baits y'all that bobby garland got it beat i'm pretty sure y'all i got zero on this on this tube <laughs> zero on second thought y'all i got these curly tails these black and chartreuse curly tails let's see here let's see if these work let's give that a couple couple casts see if it Entices them to bite, y'all. A couple of these little chartreuse and black curly tails, y'all. Let's see how it goes. And then I'll, I need to get some extra batteries for this GoPro here. I mean, it still works, but uh, I'm thinking about upgrading. I've been looking at some some new GoPro stuff. Something newer, but who knows, y'all. This GoPro works just fine. I. I I usually don't buy new things until they're broken. Really broken. I mean, this rod for one has caught a ton of fish. I'm very happy with. All right, I'm gonna switch back to the Bobby Garland. The curly tail, yeah, it did fine. But I really doubt that it beats the Bobby Garland. I don't know what it is about the Bobby Garland. Maybe the movement, the shape, uh, the action, uh, the color is what really entices bites. Uh, I'm not I'm not sponsored by Bobby Garland at all, but I'm just pointing y'all in the direction that I, that works out for me. Uh, the Bobby Garland is definitely the better one, y'all. I switched it back. Let's see how much uh, I catch with it. There we go. That Bobby Garland. I'm telling you. It takes me a few casts to get something on the curly tail. I mean, it could be the tail, uh, it could be the action, or it could be the, the color. But they really enjoy this chartreuse, this Bobby Garland chartreuse color way here. Uh, Moglo Green Lantern, I believe that it's called. But uh, it takes me less casts to get on the fish, y'all. Boy, they got tough mouths. They're not like crappie at all. They uh, they got some hard mouths, y'all. 
I believe they're still in the Sincharchid, what? Sincharchid family, which is a sunfish family. It's the same family as a crappie and bluegill. And bass, too. Uh, they're in the same family as them, uh, I believe. So. And it seems like uh, they're really closer to its structure right now. They're not just in the deep guts, they're in the structure as well. They're just taking shelter down there. <clears throat> But I'm getting a lot more bites on the Bobby Garland. It it takes me less cast. Oh, there it goes. It throws a bite right there, right, right in front of me. It takes me less cast to trigger a bite uh, on this Bobby Garland, y'all. It doesn't last as long as the other uh, soft plastics that I have. But uh, it's definitely a fair trade because uh, I catch a whole lot more of them. They're all piled up in here. Some will bite. Some, oh, that was a good bite too. Yo. Some will bite. Some. Oh, that one bit on the darker, darker colored. Look at that, y'all. The uh, more shad colored uh, Bobby Garland. Some are willing to bite. Some aren't. You believe it or not? You think that all of them will be ready to bite, but uh. The ones that you catch, there's probably five or six more on top of that. So every one you catch, there's five or six at least. Because I've watched them. I watched some take my bait while the other ones were just cruising around, y'all. Not willing to bite. Maybe they've been caught before or, or maybe they're just not hungry, y'all. But that is the case. You think that you fished them all, like you've caught what four or five, and you're done with the? Yeah, it might, be, it may be true, but I just what I witness is hundreds of fish. I've watched hundreds of fish under my kayak. Uh, well, you know, five or six were willing to bite. Believe it or not, they seem to like this down tree right here. This, there you go. And the current's right there. Is that a double? Boy, that's a double. If that's a double, uh, either that a really strong fish. Yeah, that's a really strong fish. <laughs> that's a good one, too. That's a keeper right there, yo. That's one of the bigger ones I've caught today. That's probably a female. It's real heavy. But, uh, look at that. These are so fun to catch y'all. Really good to eat too. I just don't have my stringer today, so we're not keeping fish. Yeah, they seem to really like this down tree. There's a faster moving current right there. It's dumping into this big gut. And they're hanging out in this big old gut under the tree, real close to structure. There, oh, missed him. Oh, that one bit the that one bit the darker one i don't have a good he hook set on this one uh, i tied it all messed up but it they are biting the the top bobby garland right here too it's just i'm not getting a lot of hookups that's all it is uh, so this color is getting i'd say the second best but they really like that chartreuse uh right where i'm at so I don't know if you guys are in East Texas, somewhere in Texas, Northeast Texas. It might be, might work out. Oh, that one came up and there was one right, right when I was pulling the bait out of the water and it came up and, and nipped at it. The trailer.
There we go. Good one. But the trailer right there, y'all, this is a good size. Oh, that one's the top one right there. So see, now they're favoring the, the natural colored one. See that, y'all? <laughs> the dark colored uh, Bobby Garland. This is so fun, y'all. I can do this all day long. Yeah, let's see. See how see how it's all ripped up. I'm pretty sure I can still catch a couple more fish and call it quits on that one, but uh see that one seems to starting to have a little bit more bites on it. Wouldn't be able to see it, but there's a chest that's a little tiny baby gator right there looking right at me. Floating in the water right there. He'll sun himself right there on that log that I done walked by him and scared him. Here we go, y'all. I went a little bit ways down from where I was fishing already. And uh, they have gotten a little smaller. <laughs> Thinking we're gonna need another good set of rain. Maybe a day of rain, y'all. To push some more up here in this further up the creek. There you go. That's a smaller one here. It's still fun. I mean They're definitely a fun fish to catch and they fight real good and they taste all right. Here we go. This one's probably good. Better sized one. Hit it on the chartreuse. The green. Now, I like this rod because as well it's pretty pretty stout rod. It's pretty durable. Now, I don't think you really need a double jig rig to fish for white bass at all. There we go. This one's a little smaller but uh Another one for the chartreuse, uh, Bobby Garland. Just a little guy. Well, they do, the, they, they do not last long at all, these Bobby Garlands. But, boy, do they work. There we go. That one had it in his mouth for a while. It's good one. They fight like crazy, though. I mean, top-notch fishing. Top-notch fish, honestly. Oh, that one bit the... Oh, there's double. There's two of them. <laughs> Finally, y'all, I caught the double. Look at that, y'all. Caught two of them. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Double. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's let them go. With white bass, you can get it done if it's just a little bit of walking. There we go. This one's... He's tiny, but... Boy, does he... Is he fighting good? Tiny little rocket. Boy, that was fun. They bite hard. And they fight hard. Oh, y'all. It was a busted day uh, on the creek again. It's 
a beautiful, beautiful day. Did manage to scrape up some fish, but nothing too crazy. But uh, I think I'm gonna do a cooking portion. So uh, you're gonna have to stay tuned for that, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm gonna start off with a roux. Roux from scratch. Whatever roll you want to choose and uh, flour. So equal parts. Yeah, you have to constantly whisk this. If not, uh, you'll definitely burn it. See how it's getting darker? This is a peanut butter roux. See how it's gotten a lot darker? All right, y'all. That's a dark roux right there. I mean, the light's kind of giving it a lighter brown, but this is as much as I want it right now. I ain't got much time. <laughs> All right, Holy Trinity plus jalapeno. I'm gonna cook this down a little bit, and then I'm gonna transfer it into a pot. All right, y'all, I'm gonna transfer this into a pot. All right, y'all, I'm gonna add some water. All right, y'all, y'all probably figured it out by now, especially y'all from Louisiana. I'm making a gumbo. It's gonna be paprika, garlic powder, cayenne, ground thyme, cumin, Raging Cajun. Uh, if you follow my channel, I use a whole lot of this. Not sponsored, by the way. So, Raging Cajun, go ahead and sponsor me, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna add some uh, chicken bouillon. All right, y'all, I'm gonna add some bay leaves. Now I'm gonna season it as I go. Uh, whatever it needs throughout the process. That's gonna be a whole lot of layering of seasoning. Hot pan, got some sausage. This is jalapeno. I don't know, some spicy sausage. It's not andouille, but uh, you can use andouille if you want. If it's available. But that's browned off as much as I want it to. I'm gonna drain it. Just a paper towel. Let's get that excess oil off and fat. What's well, a gumbo without okra? So with okra, it's uh, real slimy. So you gotta cut the slime out. Um, you could do a bunch of ways. There's a bunch of ways you could cut that slime out, but I'm just gonna cook it off. If you cook it off enough, uh, you're gonna eliminate this, this slime in it. While that okra is cooking down, the sausage that I cooked off, I'm gonna add it to the pot. So I'm gonna taste it as I go, but uh, I just tasted it. Definitely needs a little bit more seasoning. I like to add a little bit of this Zatarain's shrimp crab bowl. I don't know what it is, I don't know what's in it. I'm pretty sure it's paprika and some other stuff, but I'm gonna add just whatever the heck's left in this bottle, which is just maybe a half a teaspoon. The okra is done. I don't see any stickiness at all. I mean, it's almost dry. It's almost dry. I'm gonna add this to the deep pot. And I'm gonna cook this down for about an hour. Yeah, I mean, making gumbo, making real gumbo, it's, it's, it's a long old process. I'm gonna add some shrimp. I got some crawfish tails. I got some crab meat, real craw, uh, crab crab meat from the claws. Uh, it's not a whole lot of it, but it would definitely be enough. And I'm gonna add some parsley flakes. All right, y'all, that's done. Everybody has their secret recipe and whatnot. Uh, my gumbo changes all the time. It depends whatever. I, you know, I feel like eating or whatever is available to me. What's a gumbo without rice, right? You gotta have rice on there. There's only a few things that uh, makes a gumbo legit, I guess. A dark roux, okra, trinity, garlic, and whatever protein you want, I guess. I guess you, I guess you could do a vegetarian gumbo too, but uh, we don't do that around here. Gotta make it look good, I guess. Yeah, seafood and sausage gumbo, y'all. The real way to do it, I mean, 
the tedious way of doing it. Let's have a taste. Mm. Needs to be a little bit more spicy <laughs> uh, for my taste, but I could just add some Tabasco to it. Well, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. The cooking portion and the catching portion. The white bass, uh, well, it's still pretty early, I think. Uh, I said in a couple more weeks, and when we get in a little bit more rain, uh, the big female is going to show up. And uh, it's going to be a lot more fun. It's going to be every cast, y'all. But uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Please uh, hit that like button if you love the video. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new. Uh, it helps you keep up to date with all my stuff. And it's absolutely free, y'all. Uh, come along with all my adventures. Catch y'all later.